I'm trying to talk a little bit quieter. Hello, YouTube. I'm here with, uh, I don't know, the men in black and the lady in black. Show the men in black. I don't know. It's kind of weird. I, I, I'm, I'm afraid that they're going to come and like blitzy me and then I forget everything, which is kind of very scary. I really, I really hope. Wait, 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 wait. Don't disappoint us. That sounds like a threat and now I'm scared. They got their shit together when it comes to being memorable. Also with their pedals. Um, I've had the pleasure of uh, checking out the plasma coil from Le Game Changer Audio, which is French for Game Changer Audio. Um, and I wanted to hate the concept and I wanted to hate the idea that this stupid plasma thing is just like a little gimmick. But I've never had this much clarity and definition all over the fretboard in that much noise. I don't know how they're doing it. It's everything's there while being so freaking dirty. And then you fiddle biddle with this and it, and it gets even more crazy, but always defined, which is just weird. It's a love-hate relationship and uh, it's more love than hate. And also it's the signature pedal of uh, Jack Black, so that's totally awesome. You know, I mean, the guy's awesome. I love them in Jumanji 2. I actually think that the Jumanji 2 soundtrack was recorded with the plasma call because Jack Black insisted on that. I'm getting laughs over there from the men in black. I don't know why. Jack Black's a great guy. Come on, Tenacious D. Um, or some other Jack. I don't know, Jack Rabbit. Jack. No, I'm out of jokes. Um, so now we have the light pedal. So my question is, how light is it? Uh, uh, no, anyone? No, no? So what's the weight on it? Hey, Dave, get it? Get it? Dave, how, how, how heavy do you think the light pedal is? I'm gonna, I'm gonna milk this joke. It, it's pretty light. <laughs> wow, Nam Day 2. And the level sank tremendously. Um, so, I want to think that the little flickery LEDs in there are just for show. And I'm gonna say, I, I'm, gonna, I, I'm gonna want them to bullshit me and it's probably just some digital reverb and they put some springs in there from pens. They just, someone said, the nice lady is sitting there taking pens apart and taking the springs out so they got them for the pedals. And, um, and then a couple of LEDs and we're all like, oh my God, it's a light pedal. But in reality, it's like a cheap DSP chip and it's digital. But I know these guys and it's probably not that. It's probably actually something crazy because they're very messed up in the head up there where they come from. Um, so this is a bigger thing, she said. Um, optical spring reverb system. I have no idea what that means. And then we have knobs. Harry got some B-roll earlier, let's see if we can fly that in. There's optics, sweep, and trem. I have no idea what that means. Trem would be like whoopa, 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 whoopa. Um, reflect. This is what the mirror does. Feedback. Oh, I don't know. Now. Wait a second. So, why would it do that if it's digital? He asked himself. Ah, motion sensors. It's got like an accelerator built in. It's clever. My iPhone can do that, so yeah, I'm still not convinced. And then we've got harmonic, which turns the whole damn thing off. No, something is ha something's brewing in the background. That motion sensor is very good. I mean, what modern technology can give you is insane. I wonder if this has Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. Who knows? So, we have a dry, we have a spring, 
We have, see, I'm good with those. I know stuff. And then we have optical. Tone, I'm with you again. Sutural could be a control. Ah, it changes. Can you get this, Harry? Do you see how it changes the LED, the, 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 the lightness? Drive is what I do with my car, but probably it's a cranky reverb. And then we have an envelope, which could be... Uh, I'm thinking that without actual help from the men in black, There's a shock sensor. So that means, obviously, that's for the, you know, accelerator digital control shit. No, but it's off. But it knows if I... But I so, I, what? But if it's off, why is it noticing that I'm shocking it? Could it be that if you're looking at it and it sees my face and it's shocked? No, I don't know. Okay, we need someone who, who knows about this because I can't really present a pedal that is this crazy. Who's coming in here? Henning, you're, I think you're having a lot of trouble with this pedal. You're getting everything wrong. Do you? Not everything. Yeah, I, I, I got that. Uh, that drive does drive. Yeah, it drives you crazy. It drives me. You drive me crazy. You know. Yeah, the dry is the dry knob. Yeah, it's very dry. That's what she said. I literally have no fucking clue what this does. You need another chair because you're too tall. Yeah. You only have one chair. You took our only chair. Okay, then. then okay, let's grab another chair. Yeah. Oh, there, oh there's an. Oh, le deux, le deux chair. So, um, help me out here. Um, what the crap is this? It's an optical uh, reverb. I can't sorry, fucking read. Sorry, sorry. It's actually a tracking device uh, that tracks all your activities um, and then sends reports to us on a daily basis. Does it know when I'm masturbating? Uh, that's actually what we're focusing on. I really don't know why. Um, I, I kind of feel a little bit strange uh, knowing this information about you. Uh, but uh, It's quite frequent. That's what the boss said. <laughs> yeah, I know. Um, Uh, hello, Leslie. As if she sees this. Um, so, I, I, I hope she doesn't. So what is an optical spring reverb system? So uh, it's a sp spring uh, reverb uh, which uh, uses optics to sense the movement of the springs and turn that back into um, audio signal. So usually... You send electricity into a spring and it does a thing and then at the end you pick it up again? Is that what happens? I don't know how a spring reverb works, I literally don't. Yeah, well, if you like take it very, in very, very simple terms, there is like a, a piezo uh, element that picks up uh, sound from the spring. Well, here we have optical sensors looking at the spring and turning that information into audible signal. I have no idea how it does it. Uh, we have actually an engineer with us, uh, Theo. Come here. Hey, Sammy. Hey, welcome to my channel. <laughs> Please go away. This is our video. <laughs> so, uh, this is Theo. Uh, hi. Hey, Theo. Hello. Hi. Who designed the light, but also he actually could explain more how it works. Okay, so the classical way how we receive the sound from the spring tank is that, as you said, that we have some kind of inductor here and some receiver on the other side up there. Yeah, there. And uh, that's the classical way how with a mechanical sensor we get the sound with the reverb from the spring tank. But this time we, we took a infrared light emitter. In the middle there's the spring and on the other side there's a photo detector sensor. Uh, so we can like uh, get the movement of the spring in different spots of spring. So in the middle it goes with more low-end sounds with low-end frequencies and up there where the mechanical sensor stays we get more like spring more bright sound from the from the spring tank so let me guess because now I'm getting it the, uh, that was strange. let me guess the, yeah, that I'm trying to reach something to grab okay virtual rope you can do optical spring I can do virtual rope okay um, so 
the the light we see is more of a visualization. The light that, that, that's that, that's that's an LED. The, the LEDs uh, actually uh, represent what the infrared sensors are doing. It's a visualization. Yeah. So obviously, you can't see infrared light if you're not a fly or something. Um, and so the LEDs are there to let you know what's going on with the pedal. So the LEDs will change based on the setting that you're in. Um, we can explain more, or you can do that. Uh, that's that's fine. The so the control when I see the light change is giving me a visual feedback of at what point in the spring it's picking up the signal. Exactly like that. Yeah, yeah. You're in um, in calibration mode where you can choose which one of the sensors you will be hearing, and since you can't actually see the sensors activating, we added LED so you know. So we're, now we're looking at the uh, now we will be hearing the top sensor, and then we're moving to the bottom sensor. And the LED is just to tell you what's going on. Or you can go to sweep mode where you're doing like a modulation between the sensors. And because every sensor has a little bit different frequency response, you kind of get a modulating. And that's that's where it gets interesting because that's where this thing will get you sounds that you can't get with any other spring reverb. Well, yeah. That's the idea of doing that, actually. It, it, and, and it wasn't clear al already. What? So trem? Oh! Trem will literally take it up and down like a tremolo. Yeah, well, tremolo will just turn the sensors on and off, essentially. Instead of actually just modulating the volume, it actually turns the sensors on and off. Uh, yeah, Tio could confirm this, but I'm pretty sure that's the case, yeah. What does reflect do? Because right in Reflect is like a pre-delay kind of thing. It will send, uh, it will repeat uh, the reverb three times, and the control knob sets the timing. Turn it on, actually. Wait, wait, Harry, Harry needs to get some level. What? It's not on auto. I, I had it on manual. I think you were ready for this. I thought you were ready for this. I am so not ready for this. Uh, and I had to get up earlier for this than usual. Well, boo fucking who? We will disclose your data. The masturbation data? Yeah. I mean, so I mean, I'm so sorry. I'm so so sorry that you had to get ability for this. I told you don't. Put it. Put us. it back on auto then. So it's a delay. It's a delay into the reverb. Exactly. I'm sorry that this pedal is making you do strange things. It's a strange pedal. It is. It won't shut up. Please change setting. Harmonic. Harmonic does what? You made the setting. No, Tio did. Why? You're you're obviously annoyed by it. Sorry? You're obviously annoyed by the setting. I mean, it's kind of cool. That's only when you turn it on. Um, harmonic does what? Harmonic sends uh, additional gain stage in the spring tank for more uh, harmonic contents. Play. So the the impression I'm getting, Sophia's here. The impression I'm getting is this isn't your typical spring. No, it's your optical spring. Well, knowing your pedals and your products, I expected something totally middle of the road. What 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 exactly do you mean by that? Yeah, your stuff is always like very normal stuff that everyone else does. Yeah, well. We kind of wanted to take a break from making uh, our, you know, tube screamer copies and finally do a interesting product. So this is the first interesting product that you've done, yeah, other yeah. than maybe the Jack Black pedal. 
Well, um, yeah, I would agree with you. Um, the plus pedal is, you know, old news. The regular plasma is, you know, just a transparent overdrive. Um, and then, you know, we wanted to make something interesting, but still we ended up doing an old spring reverb. Someone is very clearly thinking outside of the box. This is very intriguing. It's also very damn big. So you will want to have to have to have this to sacrifice the uh, space on your pedal board. Can it be run on nine volts? It does run on nine volts. But you know, about big things, um, you know, live big. Big amps, big cars, big pedals, big... Um, Everything. Big yeah. yeah. Big, well, the better. I wouldn't know about big. Um, price point. Ooh, we're looking at uh, 329, but that might change. Um, this pedal is coming out around June. We're doing a pre-order a campaign. Uh, I think it's uh, March 2nd. Uh, through reverb.com uh, you know reverb through reverb you know, we thought it would make sense uh, and it's going to be a little bit lower price than that I think uh, for the pre-orders pre-orders are going to be limited so you know it's for the crazy guys who actually don't need to uh, try the pedal or they just you know they just need to be the first one I've just heard it so sign me up for a pre-order sure how many would you put like? me on the list uh, one for me one for Harry one for Cheddar so you like being uh, spied on Oh, you can know when I masturbate, that's fine. Oh, it turns you on, right? I'll send you a PDF with a schedule. Oh, no, no. Uh, we already have your schedule. Don't worry. This was a normal video, I guess, as always. And um, that is stunning. That is very, very original and different. Would you actually like to play it? No. I'll wait. I, th I thought this video was going to be about pedals and what sounds they make. You played it. Yeah, it's just, just, you know, a fraction of your video, but I, that's, I guess, normal for you. Okay, fine. We'll add another... This, this is NAM. I never actually test stuff at NAM. It's about the people behind the company. Who cares about the product? It's about you guys. Well, uh, I, I hope your viewers care about the pro but, but I, I wouldn't know. I wouldn't know. You're I would guarantee you that those people out there care 50% about how great the product is and 50% about who they're buying it from because they don't want to buy from assholes. They want to buy from cool people. So with you, it's like on the fence. I'm not an asshole. Buy from me. See, there you go. Uh, I don't think any of them are. Ah, that guy, maybe. Um, you, I don't know. I just pointed at some guy who's, not, who, who's now looking very... Don't disappoint us. No, it's about the people behind the product for me. It matters a lot. And you guys are cool. Yeah, we're cool guys. We're cool guys. We try to make uh, weird stuff and uh, make it uh, usable at the same time. So that's what we're doing. I was very skeptical about usability when I got the plasma call and then it was ultra usable. So yeah. Okay, so give me that. Let me play and then I can get out of here. You, you hold my stick. Sure. Whoa. Don't say that, please.
The harmonic thing doesn't work with complex chords because it adds harmonics, which then clash. Uh, yeah, well, you can turn the drive a little bit down and the control a little bit down. To okay, let me let me check that. I'll be back here. You go. an envelope as well. That's a pretty cool thing. So you can either make it, uh, you can either make the reverb duck when you're playing. So. Or, or make the reverb gate when you're not playing. It does that. Maybe. Yeah, it kind of makes the sound bump. When you're in that feedback mode, that's where that envelope knob comes really uh, in handy. So, like, if you if you keep it here, like you had before, and you crank it, try playing now. You'll have like a distortion, distorted reverb only when you're playing, and then when you're not playing, it's cut, cut, cut out. Why does the drive have to be up for me to have reverb? Because you need to drive the spring tank. So when you turn the drive completely down, there there is no signal going to the spring tank. Then that knob needs to somehow say wet or something. Because no, it's actually it's actually drive. Yeah, because but, it, it, but it's, I don't it's know it does from reading it. Well, it will come with a manual. But then I have to read the manual. Yes, please do that. Oh, damn it. What does spring do then? The spring is a regular spring sound, the old school kind of spring sound, so it's also in there. Crush, sorry, this is a pedal one has to learn, but wow, is it different. 
it's definitely for the crazies out there who want something different. Well done. Game Changer Audio. Thank you, Henning Pauli, HP42. We are, we are very happy with your performance. <laughs> you mean the masturbation or the playing? Let's change subjects. Okay. Um, <laughs> thank you, Harry Holden, behind the camera, for uh, sitting through this. Turn the drive down. Oh, by the way, actually, one more thing. It has the shock absorber kind of thing inside. So if you want to kick it and make it make crazy sounds, you can do that, or you can make it shut off when you do that. That's what that is for. Um, this is a crazy thing. I think people will go nuts about it. Um, thanks for uh, hosting us. Thanks, Harry, uh, Cheddar, Sophia, for helping. And um, animals at the end. Meow. Yeah. Time flying by Thoughts are trapped inside a black hole No sleep tonight Rest till everything is sat in stone So I won't stop trying Till the sun goes up above my mind 